This is a USA mathematical Olympiad problem. Solve a system of equations for all solutions, including real and complex solutions. I'm going to present two approaches. First, we can easily see x equals y equals z equals one is an obvious solution. So we can use transform x equals a plus one, y equals b plus one, and z equals c plus one to come up with a system of equations in a, b, and c, but a equals b equals c equals zero is a solution of the new system of equation. That way, the right-hand side of the equation will be zeros. Another approach is related to Vieta's formula. So we can see the left-hand side of the equation are cyclic polynomials in x, y, and z. So we can construct a cubic equation whose root are x, y, and z. The first approach. Let x equals a plus 1, y equals b plus 1, and z equals c plus 1. So the first equation becomes a plus 1 plus b plus 1 plus c plus 1 equals 3. So a plus b plus c equals the right hand side 0 as we expected. Now, the second equation a plus 1 squared plus b plus 1 squared plus c plus 1 squared equals 3. Expand the squares. a squared plus 2a plus 1 plus b squared plus 2b plus 1 plus c squared plus 2c plus 1 equals 3. Rearranging the terms, so a squared plus b squared plus c squared as a group, and then 2a, 2b, 2c group together, that is 2 times a plus b plus c, and the 3 constant 1 plus 1 plus 1 equals 3, and the right hand side is 3. We already know a plus what b plus c equals 0, so we can see that a squared plus b squared plus c squared equals 3 minus 3, that is 0. So the second equation, the right hand side, is also zero. After the substitutions, the third equation becomes a plus one cubed plus b plus one cubed plus c plus one cubed equals three. Expanding the cubic terms, the first term becomes a cubed plus three a squared plus three b squared plus one, and we have similar pattern for the second and the third cubic terms. We can regroup the terms according to their orders. The three cubic terms, that would be a cubed plus b cubed plus c cubed. And then we have three squared terms. They all have coefficient three. Factor out, we have three times a squared plus b squared plus c squared. And then, Three linear terms, that sum of the three times a plus b plus c. And the three constant, one plus one plus one, that is three, the right hand side is also three. We already know a squared plus b squared plus c squared and a plus b plus c are all zero. So a cubed plus b cubed plus c cubed equals zero and we have a new system of equations in a, b, and c. That is, a plus b plus c equals zero, a squared plus b squared plus c squared equals zero, and the sum of the three cubed also zero. So, question, does this guarantee that a equals b equals c equals zero? If a, b, and c are real numbers, and we have a squared plus b squared plus c squared equals zero, then, of course, 
A, B, and C are all zero. But this is not the case for complex numbers. Here is an easy example. 3i squared plus 4i squared plus 5 squared equals negative 9 plus negative 16 plus positive 25. That is 0. However, if we have three equations, a plus b plus c equals 0, a squared plus b squared plus c squared equals 0, and the sum of the cubic terms also equals 0, we can prove that a times b times c equals 0. If that is the case, one of a, b, and c has to be 0. For example, let a equal 0, then b plus c equal 0, b squared plus c squared equal 0, then we can easily see that b and c are 0 as well. So the remaining task is to prove a times b times c equal 0. We know a plus b plus c equal 0. So C is the negative of A plus B. Then 0 equals A cubed plus B cubed plus C cubed. We already know that. And then we replace C with negative A plus B. So we have 0 equals A cubed plus B cubed minus A plus B cubed. Expand the last cube. We have a cubed plus b cubed minus uh, four terms a cubed plus 3a squared b plus 3ab squared plus b cubed. a cubed minus a cubed b cubed minus b cubed that's cancelled remain two mixed term. They have common factor negative 3ab factor that out. We have negative 3ab times a plus b. And we know a plus b is negative c, so we end up with positive 3abc. So indeed, a times b times c equals 0, and we have a, plus, uh, a equals b equals c equals 0. So the solution of the original system of equation is x equals y equals y z equals 1. That is the only solution of the system of equations. The second approach is using Vieta's formula for cubic equations. Let x, y, z be the roots of cubic equation in t, t minus x times t minus y times t minus z equals 0. Expand the left-hand side and combine like terms in t, we have t cubed minus x plus y plus z times t squared plus xy plus yz plus zx times t minus xyz equals 0. This is so-called Vieta's formula for cubic equations. We want to estimate the coefficient, the three coefficients, the red one, the blue one, and the green one. The leading coefficient for t cubed, we already know that, that is 1. The coefficient for t squared, negative x plus y plus z, that is uh, easy to see, we already know it is negative 3. The coefficient for t is also easy to calculate. We have x plus y plus z squared equals x squared plus y squared plus z squared plus 2xy plus 2yz plus 2zx. We already know x plus y plus z is 3, so the left-hand side is 3 squared equals x squared plus y squared plus z squared, that is also 3, and the remaining part is 2xy plus 2yz plus 2zx. So, the coefficient for t, the blue one, also equals 3.
it is remain to calculate the constant term, the green one negative x, y, z. We have a fancy formula, x cubed plus y cubed plus z cubed minus 3xyz equals x plus y plus z times x squared plus y squared plus z squared minus xy minus yz minus zx. So this formula can be easily verified from right hand side to left hand side. You can expand the right hand side and combine the like term, a lot of cancel out, and um, it's the remaining part will be the left hand side. Using this formula, we have x cubed plus y cubed plus z cubed, that is 3 and minus 3xyz, and the right hand side, x plus y plus z, that is 3, and the other two part also 3 minus 3. So we have xyz equals 1 and the negative xyz equals negative 1. So we estimate all the coefficient of that cubic equation in t. The equation becomes t cubed minus 3t squared plus 3t minus 1 equals 0. This equation is actually a perfect cube, t minus 1 cubed equals 0. So there's only one solution, t equals 1. And uh, the only possibility for x, y, and z is x equals y equals z equals 1. Thank you for watching. Please consider subscription of my channels. I appreciate your support.